Channel 8 News mourning the loss of a former member of our own team after a wrong way car crash over the weekend. Thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Nevada State Police also revealing today the identity of the driver who allegedly drove headfirst into his car on the wrong side of the 215. It happened early Sunday morning just south of Town Center Drive. Ryan Matthew joins us live from there now with the impact this tragedy has had on our community. Yeah, Kirsten Bryan, not only did this crash take the life of our former co-worker, now his wife remains in the hospital in stable but critical condition. She was the passenger in his car and has since undergone multiple surgeries, we're told. But this crash, far beyond what longtime friends remember of him, while the Latin community now rallies around her recovery. Sorry. Carlos Gomez attempting to grasp the tragedy of his close friends of two decades, 48 year old Jose C. Tabarez and his wife, Jessica Tabarez. He was once an 8 News Now sales employee while she is president of a marketing company. I don't dance, but they love to dance. Going there, uh, uh, salsa, bachata, and everything, they're really good at it. Gomez is vice president of the Latin Chamber of Commerce, where the couple was considered family. The past two days, the Latin community grieving. If I need anything, not related to work, anything, advice, I call him up and he always responds, no matter what day it is or what's going on. The crash happened along the 215 Beltway south of South Town Center Drive. The driver of a white Cadillac allegedly entering the northbound lanes from the south before crashing head on into the car Jose was driving and Jessica was passenger in. Nevada State Police identifying that driver as 39 year old Quinana Longye Long. She also died in this crash. The impact turned the cars counterclockwise and hit another car that sent two people to the hospital. When you are driving and you see the car in front of you, you don't you don't have a chance to move. What else you can do? I, I, it's unbelievable. Now, it's unclear where this driver entered the 215, but Nevada State Police did receive calls of a driver traveling the wrong way closer to the Charleston area. That was just about two minutes before the crash itself. And when we tried asking Nevada State Police, was impairment potentially a factor as of right now? That currently remains unclear. Reporting live over the 215 at South Town Center, Brian Matthew, A News Now.